a communications disruption can only mean one thing, invasion. That's right, I have invaded Los Angeles and that's why it's taking me so long to make this next uh, hair update video. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the results of my uh, second FUE and basically the culmination of two years of FUE surgeries. I had a surgery in 2018, in 2019, and now it's been a full two years and these are the results. So let's get right to it. So welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Moises and I've had two FUEs and uh, I'm filming this video on my balcony. Originally, I wanted to do it outdoors in a park, but then I was like, what if they're gonna require me to wear a mask and I don't wanna be feeling all weird. So I'm like, I'll just do it from my balcony. It's like, privacy be damned. So. Uh, Basically, this is how it looks in full sun. Um, I'm gonna run my hands through it. But, you know, this is the ultimate test. Full Los Angeles, California sunshine hitting my hair. Uh, direct sunlight, you can't hide anything bad here. So, uh, it's looking really good. The only thing I have in my hair is a mousse. Uh, other than that, I just uh, blow dried it and uh, that's it. There's no fibers, there's none, none of that stuff here, okay? So uh, it looks good. I'm gonna show it from very, from various angles, so you guys can tell. There are some guys um, fixing their car just down on the street. So they just think I'm a crazy person, which I am. Oh hey, don't mind me. I'm just a hair model here in Los Angeles, California. So as you guys can see, it looks great. I'm trying to do it right now in this little shadow because it's hot out here. All right, so now let's fully zoom in on my hair grafts, okay? I had, uh, in my first surgery, my first FUE, I had 1,600 grafts done. And then in my second surgery, which was a little over a year ago, I had 650 grafts done, okay? So let's zoom in on them. So, uh, I'm gonna move really slowly because I know on, if you move too fast, it kind of pixelates sometimes on YouTube, but you know, this looks totally like amazingly good. Like there's just nothing else to say. It's just amazing. Thank you, Dr. Cortez for, for doing such great handiwork on me. If you guys don't know where I went, I went to Tijuana, Mexico to get this done. And you're like, you went to Mexico to get this done? And I'm like, yeah, I did. It's like, uh, I saw Fred Riley's video he was actually the first person to do a YouTube review on a hair transplant clinic in Tijuana. Before his video, there were none. His was the first. And then after I saw his video, I became brave enough and courageous enough to go. And then I started making videos. And then uh, other guys have, uh, have joined the, the FUE club or HMR club and uh, have, uh, have, have made videos too. I often get questions in the comments uh, asking if, if I know anything about these other clinics in Tijuana. And honestly, I don't. I only know about HMR because that's where I went. And uh, HMR has, has uh, various patients that have made videos. I don't know why patients from other places don't make videos, but obviously there are other clinics. But, but if you're asking me for a recommendation for another clinic, I'm not gonna give you any recommendation. I'm just gonna say HMR, because that's where I went. I can only speak from my personal experience, okay? So, uh, okay, it's getting hot here, so let's take it back inside. I have a video I wanna show you guys. I actually found a video that I took uh, three days before my first FUE, and I look like a totally different person. Like, my hairline is crazy back then. So, let's roll the tape. My hair looks normal, but look when I do this. It's like gone. That's not normal. My, My hair, hair looks, looks normal, normal, but look when, but I, look do when I do this. It's like gone. That's not normal. That, there. That bounce, that's better than normal. Some of you have asked what percentage of my grafts survived after each hair transplant. And I honestly don't know. Like, I didn't count how many grafts there were and like, right after the surgery. I mean, I do know it was 1600 grafts, but I don't, like, I don't know. It's like, obviously it was a lot. I would say over 90%, but 
but uh but it's really i don't know it would be impossible to know unless you had like you know high definition camera right after the surgery and then another high definition camera with a shaved head i guess that's the only way you could really tell but uh enough survived that it that i have these stellar results and these are stellar results and remember uh i don't take finasteride or or rogaine so my results are you know amazing and uh it's not and i do do other things and i'm making that that will be the next video i know i've been promising that for like ever but that will be the next video you know this will be my last uh hair update video i mean uh i'm not going to be showing the progress anymore because after this it's it's really not going to change they say that any further growth is minimal after a year and it's been uh now two years since my first fue so this is pretty much it and i'm happy and i don't plan getting on getting a third uh fue uh at least i'm saying that now with this head of hair talk to me in 10 years but uh hopefully uh this is it and uh what was I saying? Oh my God, I lost my train of thought. That's right, the next video is gonna be on how to uh, stimulate hair growth without using the traditional medicines. Not that there's anything wrong with that, that stuff works, finasteride and Rogaine, that's been proven to work. I just choose not to use them. So uh, stay tuned for that, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and uh, let's see what else is there to say. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm in my bedroom, my bed is still on the floor. Uh, I just moved to LA, it's great here. Uh, I know some of you probably thought, you know, why isn't he making a video? Did all his hair fall out or something? Well, no, it didn't fall out. It's still here, okay? It's just moving is really stressful. And it's like this camera, the camera I'm talking into, I just unpacked it last night. I mean, that's like, it took a few weeks, but you know, everything has to be in order before you feel creative, at least for me. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share. Uh, I'll answer the questions I always get. Where did I have this done? I went to HMR in Tijuana, Mexico. Who was my doctor? I was the, the Cortez brothers, but I always say Dr. Cortez because it's just easier to say Dr. Cortez for me. And uh, let's see, how much did I pay? I paid uh, $2.30 per graph, but you have to call for current pricing because these are the prices from two years ago. So I'm sure prices have gone up. And last but not least, shout outs. Big shout out to Fred Riley, the original OG of the uh, uh, Hair Medical Restoration Club. Uh, also, ETJC, El Tio Juan Carlos. Uh, he's great, follow him. He also went there, uh, has a great channel. Uh, there's also Hair Andy from Australia. Hair Today is the name of his channel. There's also Rowan Wicks, follow him. He also went to HMR and has a hedge of hair that looks amazing. And there's Jesus Martinez, his channel's called Goku Hair. He'll be posting updates soon. And last but not least, Kevin Moore, who's apparently getting really good like results too. Uh, I'm sure he'll be posting a video soon. Anyways guys, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, the YouTube algorithm is just gonna be pushing my videos onto your YouTube homepage regardless. So you might as well subscribe, right? Anyways, thanks for watching guys. My name's Moisés Amaya and I'm out.